the chocolate, there is nothing better than chocolate, but healthier than chocolate, but you have to have a burden on the calorie too. So anytime we are talking about the chocolate is not the chocolate, you pay 50 cents a dollar for it. That's the cheapest one, which is 90% nothing, just sugar. The, dark, the darker the chocolate it is, the healthier it is. But tell me where you can find that one. It's very difficult to find them. So in order to sell it cheap, they are going to add a bunch of sugar to it, and the kids get hooked to it. Okay, we have a Does the sugar industry, are they the ones who are promoting all the bad stuff? Well, I don't want to name anybody, but, the, you know, it's, it's, a, if, it's a demand, and, you know, there is a demand for it, otherwise they would change. Yeah. One website that you can go to is the Yale Rudd uh, Food um, website and the the Rudd Center for Food. Um, it's something like the Rudd Center for Food um, Studies um, is one of the best in the country. Kelly Brownell um, is a professor at Yale and they've done so much studies on marketing. It's a really good place to go. But one of the basic things that I think most people know, but maybe you don't, is that our government has been subsidizing the farm industry to produce extra corn for decades. And they make this extra corn, and they turn it into high fructose corn syrup. And they add this to so many foods, and they make it real, real cheap because it's subsidized by our government. And that's where a lot of this added sugar comes from, and it's in so many of our processed foods, and it adds a lot of calories and a lot of sweet. And that's one of the reasons why the processed foods are so high in calories. But that's just one little factoid of why um, we're not so much to blame, but we've got to make changes at so many different levels.